Good morning, good morning, and welcome to what we are calling now our Behind Her Brand Morning Brew. Um, and I call, I'm calling it that because I love to wake up every morning and grab either a hot cup of tea, which I know sounds crazy being in Texas, or a hot cup of coffee. I, I love my tea and coffee. <laughs> I love them both. Um, but we wanted to start something a little different um, just for the summer and see, you know, if you guys like it and see what your feedback is. Um, just starting our, our week off with a really um, hopefully inspiration encouragement um, and maybe me maybe others um, but we just wanted to start the week off together in in a place of hopefully um, inf inspiration or some encouragement and so what I wanted to start off with or actually before I do I would absolutely love right now if you are in a place that you are getting ready to start something. It doesn't matter if you're, it's not about you being new in business, new in your career or anything. Um, I would love for you to post and share what is something that you're focusing on right now, okay? Just, just put that in the comments and then I'm gonna share with you what I wanted to say today. I was thinking about something the last few weeks and I was thinking about like all the stuff that's on the news and I know some people avoid the news because of all the bad things and things of that nature. But for me personally, I love looking at the news because I love seeing what's happening around us, but I also love seeing things that people are building and doing and growing. And it reminded me of something. I wanna encourage you, if you are in a place of, I'm trying to decide if I should write a book, start a business, um, launch a new tech, invent something, whatever it might be, somebody out there needs your yes. They need your commitment. They need you to start. They need you to launch. They need you to write that book. They need you to have whatever it is that's in your heart that you've been sitting on for year or months or whatever it might be. They need you. I am a firm believer and I hear this often sometimes with people that, well, Kim, there's so many people doing what I'm doing right now. There's so many people writing books or doing this or doing that. Here's the reality. It doesn't matter if there's many people doing whatever it is that you do. It doesn't matter. I believe firmly there are people that are assigned to you, people that are meant to work with you. There are a kajillion people that do marketing and branding. And I've been doing this now for over 26 years, and I love it. You all know that about me. I love marketing plans, strategy, building brands. I love all of that. But I may not be your cup of tea. You may find someone that does exactly what I do and you love that they started and they fit more what you're looking for, right? Which means that because that person said yes, you responded to their yes and you found a fit for you. There are people specifically looking right now for the content that's in your head, the books that you're supposed to be writing, the podcast you're supposed to be launching, even the organizations you're supposed to be creating. And here's why I wanted to share this, is so often we sit on our gifts. We sit on our talents. We sit waiting for the perfect season, the perfect amount of time, the perfect amount of resources to show up. And the truth be told, if we keep sitting and waiting, we are always going to be sitting and waiting. Okay. <laughs> Don't wait. Take that first step, whether that's making a phone call, whether it's reaching out to someone, whether it's making a plan, doing whatever it might be. Because here's the thing. I just believe, and I've always believed this, there is so much out there for each and every one of us, which is why I want you to put in the comments, what is it that you're working on right now? What is it that you feel like, you know what, Kim, I'm ready to say yes to this. And then I want, if you feel comfortable, I would love for you to say, I'm not, well, I'm saying yes to this, but here's what I really need to really step more confidently. Maybe you need more resources. Maybe you need more information. Maybe you need more whatever it is you might need. I, I'll be honest with you. It, it disturbs me sometimes when I see the most incredibly talented people sitting on the very things that will make so much room for them in their lives. When you really fully step into everything that God has called you to do, all your gifts, all your talents, when you really step into it, it blesses not just yourself, obviously, but your family, the people around you, the people that are waiting to hear and to learn and to connect and to build and to be around you. So I'm going to say this. If you find yourself in that place where you feel like, well, I don't know what to do, reach out to someone. And I'll, and I'll share this from a personal experience. I've shared this with a few people. When I started the Behind Her Brand magazine, I had never done a magazine. 
Okay. I had only had two subscriptions to other magazines in my entire life. I didn't know the first thing, but when I felt like God put it on my heart to do the magazine, everything in me wanted to be like, yeah, no, because <laughs> I have no clue what to do. And there was a couple of times there I was like, are you sure you want me to do that? Because Lord, I, there's a million magazines out there. There are many people telling stories about women. Like what would make me so different? Why, why me? Why me? And literally I remember waking up in the middle of the night and, and he does this with me. He could be in the shower, driving, whatever. This is always the, the most interesting time. And it was like, why not you? I called you into this space. And the minute I heard that, I knew, okay, move forward. It doesn't matter what everyone is doing. Some people love what we're doing. Some people are like, eh, it's good. They, they, they look at something different. It's no, it's not a problem. The people that really love and need and, and, and feel like they're gaining from what we're doing are the people that I'm meant to connect to. And I think about this all the time. If I had never started, if I had never done it, I wouldn't be connected to some of the most amazing women that I've met along the journey that have been a blessing to me. Not necessarily because of the, no, not, I'm sorry, let me back up. Not, um, only connected about the magazine, but they become friends. They become supporters. We become like sisters. We become prayer partners. Like I literally think about the many people that I've been connected to along the journey. I would have never been connected to them had I not started the magazine. And that's what I why I feel so passionately about this, that someone needs your yes. I needed to meet these women. I needed to be connected to these women in a season that I'm in, in a season where I'm, I'm desiring closer relationships with other females. I'm desiring deeper connections around me. I'm desiring to really grow and challenge and stretch myself. And in the process of stepping out and, and committing to my yes, and putting things in place, I've been able to meet the very people that I needed a part of this season of my life. So there may be people right now that need that story that maybe you're not comfortable sharing, or maybe you're like, man, I'm retired, but I still feel this itching that I'm supposed to do something. Whatever it is, know that it's meant not just for you, but for that next person that really needs your wisdom. Don't ever, ever think that there's so much out there or there's not room enough for you, or that, well, it's already kind of crowded. It's not. Let's stop telling that lie. Please, let's stop telling that lie. The market is not crowded. It is not oversaturated. There is so much for each of us. There's no way in the world that I can do what I do every single day and take anything from anyone else doing the exact same thing that I'm doing. And I'll be honest with you. When I first started um, the magazine, I knew a couple of people that were doing the same thing, totally different markets, totally different everything. And I reached out to them and they were not open to helping. And I could have felt some kind of way about that. I could have stopped. I could have not moved forward. I could have been like, okay, well, since I, I don't know what I'm doing and they're not going to help, <clears throat> what do I do? But I still press forward. There's too many resources around you. And if you feel like you don't have that, post share let us know i am always so grateful to be around so many women from so many different markets that if you feel like you are lacking in an area or you want more knowledge in the area i'm pretty confident i can connect you to someone or reach out to women and say hey do you know anyone in the space please don't let a lack of resources or connections or anything be your reason for not committing to your yes for not stepping forward to not making that you know what i can do this please don't let that be so as I'm sharing this, whether you're watching this now or the replay later, I would love to hear what you're working on. I would love to hear if you need support in something. I would love to hear if like, yeah, I would love some resources in this area. Post it. You never know who's going to watch this. You never know who's going to be connected to it. And you never know who may say, you know what? I can be an answer for that person. But the first step you have to make is always committing to that yes. Because I, and I know I keep saying it because I believe it in my heart and I'm going to I'm gonna end on this. Someone needs it. Someone needs your commitment. Someone needs your yes. Someone needs you to make that first step. Someone needs that podcast. Someone needs whatever it is that has been deposited into you to be deposited into them. We are meant to share and connect. We are meant to grow and challenge each other. We're not meant to hold everything that we've been given inside. I do not believe that in my heart. I don't believe we're meant to be stingy with our gifts and talents. I believe they are meant to support and bless and 
help others. So I'll end on this and I would love for you to share. Tell me what your thoughts are. I would love to um, have a you know, conversation with you about this. If you feel any, any crumb of fear of, oh, I just don't know how it's going to be received. That is so normal. Please don't think that it's not. You'll hear me say that probably often throughout things that I say, because I'm a, I'm a firm Christian. You all know that. And I know that um, fear is not something that uh, we hold on to. But I also know, too, that human nature, we feel a little bit of that angst when you're getting ready to step out there. I didn't know if people were going to receive my magazine. I didn't know if people were going to like it or not. I didn't know if people would care to even learn about other women. I didn't know any of that. And some of that was some angst for me a little bit. And I had to make a decision to say, I'm going to step into my yes, because since this was put on my heart to do, it's not for me to worry about all the different things around it. It's for me to step into it. The market will be there. The resources will show up. I'm still, you know, growing and, and putting things out there and praying and asking God for all type of things to continue to grow the magazine. And here's the thing. I'm still saying yes. I'm committing to it. I'm making that continual steps every single day. And sometimes I don't even know what's going to land right below me. But I trust that the foundation will continue to be there when I put my foot down. Because I know the more that I commit to my yes, I'm able to support the work of other women. And that, to me, you all know. I love doing that. Um, you never know who may read one article or read something about someone's story. You guys are going to see later today, I'm posting a picture of two ladies, Sharita and Tracy, who met because of the magazine. There's many women that have connected and reached out and got resources, help, inspiration, all type, and even been challenged by things that they've read because of the commitment to the yes. Okay, that's just my example. I would love to challenge you that if you're sitting on anything, anything at all, Stand up, make that first step, commit to that yes. If you need some assistance, support, or what have you, please share it in the comments below. I wanna, I wanna hear it, I wanna learn, I want to know what you're committing to. Um, and I just wanna challenge you, I feel like I'm doing a benediction because I said I'm gonna close a couple of times now, <laughs> but I just wanna challenge you as I really do close this time. Know that Every single thing you've been gifted with, every single thing you've been um, given in your talents, you are uniquely fashioned for the things that you are given. There is no lack in you. There is no, no deficit around you because you were given those gifts and talents for a reason. You were given those dreams. You were given that idea for a podcast. You were given those books, that program, that organization. You were given all of that. You, you were given that for a reason, which means if you were given that for a reason, that means that you were designed and fashioned and crafted to be the person to deliver what was deposited in you. So I want to enjoy the gifts and talents that you have, and I know others do too. So make that step. I encourage you today, do something this week to make that first step. And I would love to hear all your uh, comments and feedback um, just so we can continue to encourage each other. And of course, learn about what we are each pursuing. All right. Have a great Monday. Thank you for joining us for our Behind Her Brand Monday Brew. And um, I invite you to come back next Monday. We're going to do this a couple of times. And I hope that in some way, in some fashion, it's a blessing to you. It's helpful to you. Um, it's encouraging to you. And more importantly, I hope that it'll inspire some conversations so that we can support and help and be there for each other. And feel free to tag people. We want to um, be a community that really blesses each other. All right, y'all take care. Have a great rest of your day.